Welcome back to the Midlife Ride. We are back in Las Vegas and we are staying at the Jockey Club. And we wanted to show you all what this unit looks like. Uh, it's not the first time we stayed here. It is an older property on the Strip, especially in terms of timeshares. And it is literally in the shadow of the Cosmopolitan. Uh, the Cosmopolitan was built around it. And we just wanted to show you what this room looks like. All right, so one of the great things about staying at the Jockey Club is its location and that there is a back way into the Cosmopolitan, but it can be hard to find. So if you are looking for it, you will walk toward the back of the casino and pretty much directly across from the high limit slots and the cliff bar, which uh, we'll try to see. Oh, no, no, no. We're just showing how to get to the yeah. Jockey Club elevators. So we'll yeah. be out of here in just a second. I promise. So if you just walk back this way, if you just hug the right side of the wall of the casino, you will eventually get there. And what you're looking for, because even though the machines might change, we feel like this uh, cash out machine right here will stay the same, but if you swing around this way, you see the sign to the elevator to the jockey club. And you're just going to go up, step in, and it is a double sided elevator. And you're going to go from floor one, which is the casino level, up to JC2, Jockey Club 2. And then when you swing around, the door opens up. And here you are outside at the Jockey Club, which brings you to the Jockey Club pool. And you can see, which is really interesting, they have this netting over this outdoor area in case anything happens to fall <laughs> from uh, the Cosmo up above. It protects you down here. But you simply walk across this little courtyard. Oh yeah, and there is the gym in case you want to work out. but you just walk across the courtyard and there, like we mentioned, there are two different towers. So you have this tower over here, which is where we're staying. And then you have the other tower over here, but they're both connected via this walkway right here. So you can go, there's a door at either end and it does require the room key to get in. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. So if you are in, if you are staying in the other tower, you would go down that way. But we are staying in the Derby, the Derby tower. tower. I think the other tower is called Ascot. Yes. So the Derby Tower and the Ascot Tower. We are in the Derby Tower during this trip, but it's really that easy. Um, but like we said, it can be difficult to find that little nook at the Cosmo. Yeah, we've had people asking for directions to the Jockey Club. So we are on the sixth floor of the Derby Tower and you can see down this hallway that the doors are kind of close together. Some of them are closer than others and our unit is actually off to the left and we seem to be the only ones on this wall maybe because it's the one bedroom. But this is 650, room 650 in the Derby Tower. We didn't clean up. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We have been living in this room now for a few days, 
But one of the things we want to say about the Jockey Club is that this is an older property. Um, the walls are really thin here. You can have a normal volume conversation and still hear people from next door. The very first time we stayed here, it, uh, it, we were here over Christmas and the family down the hall was having a very loud family argument. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's always fun. <laughs> yeah. So but even, it doesn't have to be an argument. I mean, I was sleeping one night in, at the, in, on this stay and I heard someone sigh in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's how thin the walls are. It is kind of older. Um, they have not done too many upgrades to the appliances and things like that. They are pretty original, we think. But you do have a full kitchen in case you want to cook while you're here. Or what's even more helpful for us is the coffee maker. Mm-hmm. That is the best feature. Anything you, <laughs> anything you want to say about the kitchen? Um, we don't really use the kitchens anymore. I mean, the, the coffee maker and the refrigerator is basically all we use. So, you know, it, I mean, the whole point of showing you this is basically just to let you know what to expect. It is, an, it is a very suitable place, especially if you are going to be doing some cooking. Um, for a family and this unit in particular um, can accommodate six people so there are six six bodies can fit in beds and six chairs around the dining room table which is nice if you have a larger party it is a fairly fairly large space um, you know we would never use all six chairs you have this l-shaped couch in the living room one the section right here this one does pull out into a bed to sleep those other two people and we'll show you where the other four will sleep here in a minute but you do have it's not a huge tv but it is a flat screen um and then some cabinets and a dvd player in here and we are on look this is not the view at the Cosmo, obviously, but it is a pretty nice view of Vegas. You're not up really high. Um, the other option here is to be in a room where you face a wall of the Cosmo. So this is <laughs> this is definitely good. The one thing we'd say, we would say about being on a low floor like this, and we always like sleeping with the blinds open, in Vegas, um, when you're down this low, it lets in a lot more light than when you are up high. What do you think about the view? I, I, I do like the view. I like that we can still see Paris. Um, but yeah, like Chris said, I I think the first three days we slept with the blinds open and I, I did not get very good sleep. And I was trying to figure out why and finally realized it's because we're so low because it's never bothered me at the Cosmo, never at all. But after we checked in there today, you can definitely see the difference in the amount of light that you get at this level compared to the higher floors of the larger towers. So, you know, maybe try it the first night and if you don't get good sleep, you probably wanna close your blinds in a, in a room this low. So let's swing around for the other view. But like we said, this is, I mean, this is a lot of living space. You are definitely not cramped in here, especially with just two people like we are. Now, one of the other things about this unit, as opposed to other timeshare properties here on the Strip or near the Strip, there is no washer or dryer in, in this room, which is kind of a kind of a bummer. They do have a laundry facility and for us in room uh, 650 it's actually just on the other side of the wall so it is it would be pretty convenient for for this floor. I'm not sure if they have one on every floor though. As you walk through here there is a little closet in this room or in this little 
walkway. It has a uh, vacuum if you're just dying to vacuum when you're in Vegas and gives you a little more storage space. And then you do have a half bath. There is no shower in here, but there is a toilet and a sink, which is really helpful when you have two people um, to have this extra space to get ready. But now let's talk about some of the upgrades they have made to the to the fixtures so if you are using the toilet and you get up without paying attention this towel rack hangs out really far and it can be really easy to bang your head on that when you're getting up and the other thing that's even more dangerous is this faucet they put onto the sinks. This is way too tall for a bathroom sink because like when you bend down to, let's say you're shaving and rinsing your face or you're brushing your teeth and rinsing out your mouth, that thing right there is dangerously close to your forehead. Um, so be really careful about that when you are using the bathrooms here at Jockey Club. However, you do have hair dryers built right there into the wall, which is nice. Anything else you want to say about that? And they have like bathroom? a little night light. The hair dryers have a yeah, night light that you can turn off if that bothers you. But I think it's a nice feature. But then we walk into the bedroom. And as you can see, like this is a really big space again, but they have put two queen size beds in here, which is fine, except they should probably be closer together. And we'll show you why here in a minute, but you have the two beds, which are comfortable. And then another TV here in this room and a dresser with some more storage space a couple of chairs and a table. And then of course you have the same view here out the window. But then also connected to this room is this humongous walk-in closet, which is really nice. If you like to pack a lot of stuff when you come to Vegas, then this closet will suit you well. It's also where your safe is located and in case you're wondering it is attached to the wall so it's not like somebody can pick it up and carry it out and it's also where your iron and ironing board are located and you also have a uh, full-length mirror right there but one of the things we mentioned that the beds were kind of spaced really far apart and this is what this is why that's a problem because it's a really narrow walkway into the master bath. Demonstrate, please. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, so even Catherine, who is a really small person, has to kind of shimmy down the side of the bed to get into the master bath. And again, we have the really tall faucet to bang your head on. Mm -hmm. Just and be very careful when you're washing your face because the the basin is, you know, not very deep to begin with, but trying to get down close just to, you know, wash your face. Even when I'm brushing my teeth, I just feel like this is, it's probably a lot further away than I think it is. No, it's but very close. It's, <laughs> yeah, I always feel like I'm going to poke my eye out on that thing. Just be careful if you're staying here. Be mindful of your head. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, a decent shower just has a shower curtain. It's, you know, it's a, it is an old property and does not have like a glass door or anything like that. The shower head is pretty low, but that's to be expected with an, with an older property. Um, anything else, honey? No, I mean, it does have everything you need. It's just, um, there are no, I don't believe there are any USB outlets in here. There are very, mm. very few outlets, as you, you know, if you have an older home even and haven't upgraded there there's one outlet for four people to share in this bedroom here um 
it's a good thing we brought our adapter that has you know plugs in once and it has four usb ports so that came in handy be sure to pack something like that if you're staying in this room and need to charge a lot of stuff the other thing i will note is the location of the light switches for me is um i don't like it it's <laughs> they're inconvenient especially here in the closet because every single day that we've been here i have walked into the closet looking for the light switch and it's not here it's behind the door so you have to turn the light switch on before you go in the room has everything you need especially if you're going to be spending a lot of time in it and you're trying to save money on food and stuff like that because of the kitchen that's why we used to love timeshares um just for the convenience of that alone and right now we just love them for the coffee makers because we like to make coffee before we leave the room so that being said we just wanted you to be aware of the age of the property i think there may be some renovated rooms but you may wind up with something more like this and i think i mean it's my opinion that the location makes it worth it for me because being able to walk outside and straight into the Cosmopolitan is a perk that you're not gonna get anywhere else, especially if that's a place that you like to to, um, to play at a lot and you don't you know, wanna pay for the rooms at the Cosmo. Basically, to sum it all up, this is a great location, but maybe not the best property on earth, but it is, look, you're still in Vegas you're still gonna have a good time. If you like this room tour, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell so that you know every time we release a new video. And we will see you on the next episode of The Midnight Friday.